Good YouTube world, it's Jay Coffey, tapping back in with another one, man. Smash them buttons, jump in the comments, let's talk. But this video is, is uh, stick with me on this one, y'all, right? Let me break all this down, bust all this down for y'all. Uh, I flocked up in the midst of making this video, but I'm bringing it to y'all anyways. You know what I mean? Uh, I went down this whole nostalgia rabbit hole. You know what I'm saying? Those who fluck with Jay Coffee talk, you guys already know I'm a nostalgia junkie. I like reminiscing on back in the day, man, when I was coming up. You know what I mean? When the world was still bright and sunny. You know what I mean? But anyways, um, 1090 Jake threw up this post on the gram. Um, you know, saying R.I.P. to Robbie Coltrane, who is the actor who played um, Hagrid, I think is his name, right? From the from the Harry Potter movies. He passed away at the age of 72. And um, I don't know, yo, I never really watched all the movies. I only watched like the first movie. Um, I read a, a few of the books, though, way back uh, when I was in a facility, in a home when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, diving into a good book was everything. It could take your mind off the stress, you know what I'm saying? Chewing your fingernails or tossing and turning, not sleeping well, you know what I mean? You could just dive into that book and escape the walls that encapsulated you or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, a good book was everything, real talk and having Sports Illustrated and different things to just read on and whatnot, you know what I mean? Um, and it's wild, too. I wonder nowadays in detention centers, mental, mental health facilities and ish like that, if it's the same way it is in prison and jail like we see so often via the blogosphere. You know what I mean? Where mob fluckers got phones and whatnot. I wonder if phones like if 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 uh, the youth sneaks phones into the facilities they're in. I don't know. That's crazy. You know what I mean? I did see a lot of wild contraband coming up in a lot of those facilities you know group homes tension centers mental health all them spots you know you see cats sneaking in drugs cigarettes hell sometimes just lighters they just wanted to light some ish on fire but anyways i'm getting a bit off track um let me know if you flucked with harry potter the hagrid dude you know was he a, was he a big part of the story I, I can't even remember that well like i said i was dumb young we're talking about before the year 2000 when I read them books. Um, but you know what Jay Coffee Talk thought this post was? Do you guys know who this is what took me down that whole uh, nostalgia rabbit hole and everything? I thought that this was Dr. Vink from the super duper throwback Nickelodeon's Are You Afraid of the Dark? Do y'all remember Dr. Vink? Um, he was in one of the first Are You Afraid of the Darks with that paw that could grant you wishes. You know what I'm saying? But the wishes wouldn't come the way you wanted it to. You know what I mean? It would all be twisted in a bad, evil way and you'd be left wishing you never made those wishes. You know, he was also in um, the Zebo the Clown one. He played Zebo the Clown and he also appeared as the Dr. Vink guy in other uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark episodes. But for real, that's, I swear to God, like I, I was trying to put this video all together. You know what I mean? Went back down that, that whole um, memory lane, remembering, are you afraid of the dark? Cause for real guys, um, let me know if you fucked with that show as well. I think if you're kind of up close to my age, uh, you would remember that show. That show was lit. You know what I mean? S Saturday night, Snick on Nickelodeon. You would catch uh, the original Snick lineup was like Cl Clarissa explains it all roundhouse, uh, Ren and Stimpy and Are You Afraid of the Dark? And it changed a lot over uh, the years. You know what I'm saying? The orange couch and everything. You know what I mean? Like, those were the days. And then even for a little while, at the end of SNCC, when uh, the conclusion of Are You Afraid of the Dark, you could slide on over to USA Network and catch Weird Science and Duck Man. You know what I mean? Those were the fucking days. But I, I felt like such an idiot after I was literally pretty much done putting all this info together and i'm like wait a second i looked at 1090s uh post one more time i was like that ain't dr vink that's motherfucking dude from harry potter and also you know when i was looking at that i was like man um i feel like that would be a little before 1090 jake's time are you afraid of the dark you know what i mean like i, I know i'm a bit older than the dude but i don't know it just had me all the way flucked up and i was like coffee you dumb son of a bitch like, what were you thinking? But I don't know, you know, um, I guess they brought Are You Afraid of the Dark back uh, recently 
Um, they rebooted it. I don't know if anyone watched it or whatnot. If it was good, I doubt it could uh, live up to the hype of the new Are You Afraid of the Dark? But um, I don't know. Recently, you know, aside from being a nostalgia junkie, an internet nerd, you know, a hip hop fan and a, 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 an NFL and sports fan. I love to binge out on TV and movies and pro wrestling and ish like that. And more or less, there's a couple things lately that have been reboots, recycle, reuse, whatever the fuck you want to call them that are actually pretty good. So I don't know, maybe I should make a couple videos on that. I had planned to, you know, but coffee has just kind of lost his motivation as uh you know the, the the algorithm gods got me all the way fucked up on my main channel here i gotta try to start a new channel or something i don't know but um comment and let me know if you guys remember are you afraid of the dark if you remember dr vink uh the, the actor who played him um aaron tagger that's the thing too he is also deceased and he died back in 2019 so originally when i'm thinking that that was who 1090 jake was posting uh aside from being like damn i'm surprised 1090 jake you know uh, remembers that are you afraid of the dark snick era you know like like was he born yet you know what i mean but aside from that uh, the Aaron Tagger dude that played Dr. Vink passed away back in 2019. So there's that also like, damn, that's, that's not like breaking news that this uh, guy died. I wonder why he's posting them. But at the end of the day, he really wasn't. Coffee just fucked it all the way up. Um, but yo, dude was from Toronto. Uh, this is Aaron Tagger who played Dr. Vink once again and uh, numerous other roles on Are You Afraid of the Dark? Um, he was from Toronto. Uh, you know, he, 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 like, and y'all, I got a lot of love for Canada. It's always our neighbors to the north. I, I, I fuck with uh, the country of Canada, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, for a Canadian to bust into the acting scene, it's, uh, it's a different grind for them, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, not that I, Are You Afraid of the Dark obviously was a, a Nickelodeon show, but um, this dude was in a, a lot of movies as well um, and TV. You know what I mean? Continue to pretty much work all the way up to his death. Uh, a couple movies out of the many that are on here that I want to mention to y'all that he's in is Murder at 1600, which I feel like anyone uh, comment. Isn't Wesley Snipes in that one? I believe. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. And he was in uh, X-Men as well. Like this dude did a lot of acting, man. You know, he wasn't like a huge star who people knew his name off the rip. But um, he probably had been in a few things you had seen over the years. And aside from uh, acting and movies and TV, I guess he was also a poet, an artist and all kinds of other ish. But um, I don't know, guys, that's pretty much it on this one. Like I said, I uh, feel like a bit of a fucking idiot uh, as I mistook this Hagrid Harry Potter dude for Dr. Vink, Aaron Tagger from Are You Afraid of the Dark? But nonetheless, I went down that journey down memory lane, piecing the video together. And when I realized I fucked it up, I was like, you know what? I'm going to still uh, put this thing together, put it out there and, uh, you know, do let it do what it do and hear what you guys say. So jump in the comments, guys. Let me know if you could see the resemblance between um, Robbie Coltrane, um, Hagrid and uh, Dr. Vink. Aaron Tagger um, from Are You Afraid of the Dark? Let me know if you flucked with the Harry Potter franchise, the films, the books, whatever. And also let me know if you were, you know, in you know, used to watch Snick and you you remember Are You Afraid of the Dark and in those days. And you know, I feel again, I feel like a lot of people around my age bracket, you know what I mean? Definitely gonna remember that show it was lit. Um, again, I don't know. They rebooted it. I don't know if it's any good, but um, I don't know. Tap in, comment, let's talk. Thanks for watching. If you're new, don't forget to sub up. It's Jay Coffee Talk, where we talk music, news, sports, current events, life, and much, much more every day, all day. And I'm gone, y'all. Peace.